everyone, it is me, 333 hey, JB or 3 herb if you would prefer to call me that, and uh, we're here to play Rengar. I've played a couple of games with him, I didn't actually feel like buying Comfort breeds weakness! Well. To summoner's rift. Okay, that's a bit quiet. <laughs> Try to find the nice easy. That'll ready. do. All right. So um yeah, I've played a couple of games as Rengar. He's kind of um I started boots. That's kind of retarded. Uh, leash on red, please. Maybe started boots. That's really retarded. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. The scent of uh, Yeah, I've actually wanted to try Rengar with starting boots, but uh, not this game, not when I'm recording. That doesn't sound like a smart idea. But apparently here we are anyway. So we're going to get a nice hard leash on red. I played Rengar only as a jungler because I don't think his kit is really good for jungling. For ganking, he is a pretty good ganker. It's just he's so underpowered. When he hits late game, unless you've gotten a few kills early on, he's just so useless. Like, honestly, it's like, wow, why do you even bother playing this guy? One person gets, you get a tanky person on their team and they focus you down, and boom, you do nothing. You do absolutely no damage whatsoever. But that's just, you just have to work on trying to get a kill early on, which is what I try and do. Oh god, it's running, and now it's resetting. That's not good. Come on. Whack. Their heads will adorn my wall. Uh, thank you. Always be nice to your teammates, even if they piss you off. Which is, that last bit is kind of, um, yeah, I don't do that one. Um, there doesn't seem to be any ganks fear. around, so we'll just get this green buff real quickly this extra health it's always nice Lesser creature. Oh. lagging already I've deleted everything off of the computer which could cause cause lag A true hunter well, never deleted, rests. but I've turned, turned everything off so I don't understand what happens and I have yeah I don't know what's happening, give me a second. Alright, we are back, and it is a bad idea to change your video settings while playing League, because even a, a short amount of time that you're wasting, it's just not good for your team at all. Now, I'm going to see if I can get a gank here, but um, my team is being extremely aggressive at the moment, so it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to get anything decent off. So I'm going to go jungle a bit more. Keep an eye out for any ganks that oh, ganking potential in any lane this quickly you don't need blue buff as Rengar because well it is nice to have but you honestly don't need it because you know he's doesn't doesn't cost any mana to cast his abilities the cooldown thing is a bit nice but other than that it's a bit who cares it seems to be that they have a afk or a disconnecty okay we've got something going on the killer's path I don't know if I'll be able to do anything. Uh, this is the problem, is that as soon as people push, you just can't do anything. Strike when ready. So, might as well go jungle a bit more. Get rid of this ferocity. Hit him. Hit him hard. His W, his W's ferocity heal is a bit amazing for jungling because it's just like wow hit him just get some extra ferocity Walk points up you want to always have at least four or five ferocity points before ganking a lane because if you don't beforehand it's just kind of pointless there you go they have to go to disconnect D and they just cast heal on me which probably wasn't the best the not first, well it's not first blood, it's not first kill for me, but it's close enough. Um, we don't really have anything else happening at the moment, which is a bit annoying. 
my cat won't leave me alone. That's probably about it. The best thing <laughs> that I find the, be the, the, the most rain. fun thing to do with Rengar is um, getting four stacks on your ferocity and then hitting your W twice really fast and he goes brah, brah, and you get health back from it, which is awesome. He just roars so loud that he gets health back. It's pretty, pretty kick ass. And I do max his Q and off max his W, but as I'm level 3, there we go, level 4 now. You couldn't actually see what I was doing. But I'd like to get all three of his abilities just for the heal is a bit... Is nice to have, nice to hold. Uh, excuse me, I have the sun kiss going on and I have the red rock belly chips going on. So, I... yeah. And that would just there was a bit of a stupid move by me because you need... To, when you have ferocity, you have to heal in the jungle, otherwise you're just gonna... Uh, too much damaged. Too much damaged. That's right. There we go. Heal. There we go. Takes a bit of getting used to playing Rengar jungle, but um, yeah, you, you get used to it after a couple of a couple of games. Even oh well, you get better at it. I should say. I'm not even fully used to it yet, as you can see. I'm doing I'm making quite a few mistakes. And bottom is doing nicely, so. The heal does keep you alive in, really, in um, situations where it's really needed, just like that one. Uh, oh, they got that. Yep. Monsters can be made to fear. Doing good. He's got boots, though. No! No! Oh, that heal from Soraka just saved my ass. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. <clears throat> that, I owe that Soraka a life. So, um, yeah, so from, <laughs> so, so from now on, if um, she needs help and she's going to die and I have the possibility to save her, guess who's, um, guess who's sacrificing his life for Soraka? This guy. So, I'm not doing too bad at, at the start. Zero, zero, 002, they've gotten a few good ganks off. The jungler and the, the jungler's been a bit incapacitated having to babysit mid because, well not babysit mid, but I'm um, happy to stay mid because the mid's been AFK. But, uh, honestly, in this game, if you're playing fair, you're playing wrong, because you need to take what you can get. If you need to, it, it's, not, it's not an honorable game, it just really isn't. You need to do what you need to do to win. I know, not, I'm not saying cheat, but I am saying that if you were going to 2v1 them, and they don't think that's honorable, then you 2v1 them. If it gives you a kill and gives you an advantage, you do it, okay? It's all part of the game. It's all about strategy and all that jazz. Oh, she looks so low. Oh, that jump is amazing. Uh, oh, wow. Is the LeBlanc who's like level 4 and been AFK for the start of this game really talking smack right now? Because I have ult up here. There we go. And that's two kills for me, and I have the makings of my Riggle's Lantern at this point, I do believe. Let's check. Yep, I have enough of my I Riggles. Seek only the strongest. Um, I ha don't know if he's good at anti-jungling yet. I haven't actually tried playing counter-jungle. Walk the killer's path. The, the fun thing to do with Rengar is to use his double Q ability because when you use your ferocity rest. abilities, your ferocity abilities have a different cooldown. Um, 
it's kind of hard to say. Basically, when you've got, when you, if you use an ability and, say if I use my W, like I said with my double W before, if I use my W and it gives me five ferocity points, then my W will come off, not come off cooldown, but it'll, you'll be able to use it again. Like that. If you're watching. <laughs> I doubt you were, but if you were watching, that's how it works. It's just, it's an interesting concept, it may, it makes for some interesting players, especially when you jump on somebody and double queue them and they're dead. I seek only the strongest. And Rengar's fun when he gets a bit fed, oh boy is he, is he ever fun when he gets a bit fed. Just take this, especially with his ult. Alright, I've got a gank going on somewhere, I don't know where yet, I haven't found it, but there's definitely a gank to be had. least. Uh, see, at this point it would be a nice invest to go get my freaking Bone Tooth Amulet because I'm getting a lot of kills and assists. Top's getting ganked. I don't like the cons. I don't like, um, I don't like Nunu Jungle. I, I don't know what it is. I've tried it. It's interesting, but it's not fun. Each trophy a victory. Each trophy a victory. I'm hoping that they implement more of that. The, um, where he talks when you buy an item. Walk the killer's path. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, um, yeah, the, the, uh, they do it a lot in Dota, and I know my friends hate me for saying, I'm not trying to make the game more Their like Dota, I just think that Dota has some cool initiative ideas, such as characters actually, or the champions actually doing, um, the, the, the characters, the heroes, fear. champions, whatever you want to call them, those things, this thing, that thing. Um, yeah, when they actually buy an, when you buy an item for them, they actually make a, um, like, like a reference to it. Like, when you buy Bone Out Tooth Amulet and Rengar goes, each kill a victory. Or each trophy a victory. I think that's really interesting. They do it a lot in Dota. You can buy for you can if you play Dota, a which you probably you might, you might not. Rest. I've gotten into it. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. But um, oh, she's so dead. Yep. Oh, she was actually she was right for a long time now. Yeah. If you play Dota, like if you get the voice acting in Dota is amazing. Honestly, like you play Earthshaker and he's like Earthshaker. And he has this really deep, awesome voice that I would love to have. I would love to have a nice, deep, sexy voice, but, you know, it's not happening. But if you listen to him when you buy an item, say, such as, like, a Blink Dagger, the side of Blink Dagger and Dota, which is basically a flash in this game, except you actually have to buy an item for it. And um, if you get this item on Earthshaker, he actually goes, hmm. Link Dagger. It's really, really cool to hear your characters actually voice back opinions of your build and stuff like that. And I think I can't remember who it was, but I was playing somebody, and because I'm not, I'm new to Dota too. Um, I don't know what to build on all the, all the heroes and champions and stuff like that. So I build whatever looks cool, and I re I remember playing. Um, I think it was Bounty Hunter or something, and I got something, like, an item that wasn't really supposed to be on Bounty Hunter, and he just kind of goes, hmm, interesting, or something like that. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. It's just a really cool concept. And there's another game bottom, which I can possibly... Hello? May I partake? I'm too snare. Right. I tanked it for long enough for her to get down there. Hopefully she gets that. No? You gonna get it? She got that and I got the assist. And that is three stacks on my bone tooth, which it gives me plus 10 armor penetration and plus 5% cooldown reduction, which is awesome on Rengar. Just any bonuses that you can get from his bone tooth are just freaking spectacular. And it looks like... Uh, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Because every time I've said it, we've lost. So, I'm not saying it, okay? 
You're not gonna make me. It's not happening. Let's get dragon. So yeah, this is a pretty good start to Rengar, going four to zero to five, no deaths, a lot of Lesser a lot of assistance creature. on things. I don't know what else to say. You know, I've assisted a lot. I've helped as much as possible. Don't want to start Catch lagging out now because that will not be fun. Because I don't want to start this video again. Double Dario. I always thought that would be cool if, um, when you, um, <laughs> when you hit your roar twice on Rengar, he shouts something like, I roar twice for victory! Or something like that. That would be, that would be interesting. Just see, seeing something. They, they, LOL needs to, not needs to, but LOL could do so much more with their characters if they just, um, had a bit of, um, creative spark. I see gold they have, the they have so much potential. Some of the stuff that the characters could say would be so awesome. Oh, so many dead people. Whack. Whack. Okay, let's get out of that. No, honestly, I don't want any part of that. The scent of prey. And er uh, Okay, I'm gonna have to base. The one thing I haven't I've gotten used to, because I've been playing a lot of Dota recently, more more Dota than LOL, which is actually a bit surprising, is um Hitting, trying to right click to buy items is one thing that I've noticed myself doing a lot more. And trying to buy items when I'm not in the base. By the way, boots and mobility. I don't care what anybody says, boots and mobility on Rengar are freaking fun. Like, I mean, like chasing after people, eating them, and putting this massive slow on them. That vein is really, really fed and doing a lot of damage. And just like, yeah, walking into a bush and just like, Brah! and jump on people. It is fun, okay? It's the funnest thing I've done on any champion for a long time. Rengar is one of the funnest champions I've played in ages. Can be made to True fact. Fear. Oh, I want this to be for blank. She's going to come this way, and I'm going to jump her. I hope. I'm not going to start lagging. I'm not Walk going to start the lagging. Killer's path. Oh, come on. Will adore my wall. No. Oh, God damn it. Ready. Uh. <laughs> I got one assist, so as long as you get one assist in a fight, you're good. Alright, <laughs> as long as you get one assist, if you die in a fight, as long as you get a single assist, you don't lose those bone tooth necklace stacks, which are so amazing to have. As soon as as soon as you get up to plus, I get up to six or seven stacks, and it's just nothing can stop me. I, I'm just like running around freaking destroying and absolutely the desiccating their teeth. I've done it before. I the first game I played as Rengar, I went something like fourteen to seven to twenty-two or something like that. I was just, I was Monsters such a, a freaking productive member of society in that game. I was just, it was amazing. It was really fun. Rengar is a fun champion. He can be a fun champion, at least. and that's what that's what I find League is kind of lacking at the moment is a, is. Like champions who are fun to play. Diana's Diana was the latest that was brought out, and I can't Shall wait for her nerf because she has been an absolute. Uh, I don't even want to go there. Like she cues and uh, she's a Kali. Uh, she is essentially a Kali 2.0. Okay, she ults and then she cues, or she cues and then she ults. One or the other. Whatever tickles your fancy. She does one of the two and just destroys people. Get off. How better? Nope. 
is the hunter and the hunted. Ow. Let's just. Going to eat you, but never mind. Yeah, you just go ahead and do that. <laughs> this um. God, I want to ease something so I can start getting my ferocity points up, but uh, and that seems to be game over, and that's good because it was just as I was lagging out, and uh, don't like lagging out. All right, so that's a nice little quick game for lol for all my viewers. Oh couple of you <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this this is, that was just me playing rengar um i didn't do much because the vein was just absolutely destroying everybody on the enemy team so i'm not going to take any credit for that match that match was all vain anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed the video like and favorite if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff if you don't then um, thank you for watching this video i guess it's a nice little brief overview of Rengar. I might do something more to him and show him off a bit more in a later video at a later date. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, yeah, good night to you all.